Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and we are once again back playing some Battlefield 1 on PC. We are moving on to the third war story of Anti Savoia. So yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy and I am preparing my eyes to bleed even more because so far this game has been absolutely gorgeous and I expect more of the same but we won't know till we find out so let's jump right into it. Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. The human spirit drove us to fight where no one had dared to go before. Whether it was the mountains of the Alps or the skies above, we found a way. They said this would be the war to end all wars. But I wonder if there will ever be an end to human ambition and our will to destroy. So this time this will be live commentary. I know last chapter two was not because of some audio sync issues. So everything's new and fresh now. Let's get it. <laughs> Good attitude there. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. You looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together. Just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. <laughs> what the hell? This guy was wearing blast suits before it was cool. Bring on the juggernaut. Captain. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. Alright, let's take the high road here and go for the flank. This is coming from. All right, let's see here. Really, dudes? In a body armor. I'm unstoppable. Oh, what's our dude? Getting spicy in here. Flamethrower versus bullets. I'll take flamethrower all day, every day. Can I repair my suit? Oh shit! No, I can't. Get 
grenade in there, man. There's a grenade in there. One grenade each. I guess I could zoom in too. All that was left after the flame troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. Freaking walking battle tank right now. This is sick. Go home. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. You guys just coming straight out of the woodwork, man. Where is Mateo? There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? I had to make sure he got there. That was weird. The game just dropped out of full screen all of a sudden. We got these guys to deal with. Go so anti vehicle grenades. Slobbing. Blown up yet. There you go. Let's take the hill. Matteo and the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained. So I had to take it down. You're asking a lot of a man. You gotta go around. Look at the foliage. Look at that scenery. It's with the one random Christmas tree right there. <laughs> okay, bros. Okay. Oh shit, that's a machine gun. Ah! Let's see if I are these guys, I shoot at my joints. It's the only way. You gotta get me to take a knee first. Take a knee. Gotta take the hill. Ooh. I guess flamethrowers would work against me too, wouldn't they? Jugs, 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 jugs! Blow up! Oh, shit. <laughs> that bro rush. Let's keep going down this ridge. Seems like a safe plan. I think these, these fire guys pose the most uh, trouble to me right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> they just got lining up to die. What are you doing? safe was to blow up the gun itself uh, 
strap some explosives. It's almost unfair. Almost. in the bunker so we don't explore ourselves Good job that explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me but there was no rest I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes that was my next target where's the backup I'm coming, boys. I'm coming for you, German scum. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. Never mind. Not Germans. Austro-Hungarians. <laughs> Little hidey hole you guys got here. It'd be a shame if a gigantic armor dude came and killed you all and destroyed it. Grazie, grazie. You guys know Ezio. Guns flying everywhere. <laughs> Nice try. I take down the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. <laughs> Bombers. They were targeting my tail unit belonging, so I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. Sounds like a wise tale right now. <laughs> If those men were killed, our advance would be completely altered, and I would have lost my tail. Sniping these guys midair with this artillery gun. Sit down, bitches. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Oh, I went in from the left. Blind firing through the smoke. He's coming. I keep trying to leave the target, but I actually don't have to. Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. But then the planes veered away. <laughs> Cause an avalanche of stone. Use earthquake. Oh shit! Looks like Dark Souls. 
When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. 